One of my favorite videos I've made on this channel is my video on the top 10 best flags in the world. Now, I love flags. They can portray the beauty of a country, tell a story, and do so, so much more. Then again, some flags are so goddamn ugly that they make me want to f***ing kill myself. So prepare your eyes as we cover the top 10 worst flags in the entire world. By the way, this list is 100% accurate, and if you disagree with this list, you have zero taste in everything. And without further ado, let's go. At number 10, we have the flag of the Federated States of Micronesia. First of all, this country has a name longer than my Wi-Fi password, which already makes me despise its entire nation. Second, just look at their flag. The blue and the white just don't fit together, and it looks so bad. But what infuriates me the most are the stars. They are organized in such a disgusting way that makes me want to throw up, especially the star at the bottom. Tell me, who thought it was a good idea to, to put an upside down star on a flag? Just, just, just why? The reason why it's only number 10 is because the symbolism behind the flag is actually kind of cool. Each star represents the amount of states in the country. Wait, 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 hold on a second. That sounds really familiar, doesn't it? Coming in at number 9 is the flag of Belarus. Ah, Belarus, the country that, simply put, is Russia's annoying little child, while Russia is its abusive and overprotective stepdad. In fact, the name Belarus literally translates to White Russia, but enough with this bullshit, you guys just, just want to see me roast the hell out of its flag. I mean, just look at this abomination, like, what is that, a cloth on your flag? Like, come on. Wait. Are you serious? It's actually a cloth? Aren't flags meant to represent and symbolize a country? If the best thing about your country is a f cloth, your country must be like really f sad. If you look closely, the cloth doesn't even go to the end of the flag, which is just pure laziness. Another thing that grinds my gears is that the colors of the flag don't even have official meaning. Like, what the of a flag if it doesn't represent anything. Although, I should admit, according to the president, it does have some unofficial meaning. Red represents freedom and the sacrifice of the nation's forefathers, while green represents life. And I know what you're thinking. What about the white? Well, that represents jack shit. Oh my god. And number eight, we have the flag of Vietnam. Well, it's only been two and a half minutes, and I've already upset... 97 million people and you know what i don't give a f i don't care if you have a thousand people or a million people or 97 million people if your flag sucks ass then it sucks ass i mean just look at the flag of vietnam it's literally just a yellow star on a plain red background where is the artistry where is the complexity if your flag can be drawn by a blind dyslexic six-year-old then it's not a good flag Wait, how is this only number 8? How could there be any flags worse than this one? At number 7, we have the flag of the Mauritius. No, 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 I can't stand for this. Stop the music. What is this shit? Mauritius, you have got to be kidding me. Your country is literally amazing. Why did you have to ruin it with your hideous ass flag? Like, what is this? Why does it have four lines? What's the point? Like, it looks like this flag was designed by a toddler who didn't know how to count to three. Actually, no. It looks like if a toddler saw the flag of Armenia and decided to ruin it with an extra green stripe. And the stripes just represent random ass things like freedom, the ocean, the sun, the grass. Literal <laughs> grass. I swear, if I see another four-striped flag in my life, I am literally going to die. Oh, come on! At number six, we have the flag of the Central African Republic. Now, the Central African Republic is probably one of the worst countries in the entire world. And this is coming from an Indian, the country where cows have more rights than literal people. This country has the lowest GDP, is the poorest, is in a dictatorship, is in a civil war, is the unhealthiest country, the most dangerous country in the entire world, and above all, has a flag that can cause literal eye cancer. It's just... I have no words. Like, there is so much going on. Why the five lines? 
what is with the red stripe and what the fuck is the point about this star? The only reason it's not in the bottom three is because, to be honest, the symbolism is kind of dope and you should definitely read into it, but it can still, it just can't, you can't have that much symbolism when your flag looks like Jack. At number five, we have the flag of Palau. I introduced to you the flag of Palau, aka if a colorblind person tried to draw the flag of Bangladesh. Seriously, when the Wikipedia page of your flag says, and I quote, is off-center like the flag of Bangladesh, you can tell that it is downright plagiarism. Next, as you can see, the flag has a big yellow circle. Well, that obviously represents the sun, right? Oh wait, there seems to be a typo in my script. Because you know what? The yellow circle on the flag represents the moon. Whose idea was it to make the moon yellow? And why is the background blue? Shouldn't it be black? Like, what the And also, the flag is racist. The president of Palau admitted that the flag was designed to pay tribute to the rising sun flag. Now, if you don't know what this flag is, it's like the Asian version of the flag of Nazi Germany. It is a symbol of Japanese imperialism, when they killed over 14 million people and did so much more, but literally saying the things they did makes me feel sick and just, just no. The fact that they still have a flag that supports this kind of racism is just uncalled for. At numero cuatro, we have the flag of Benin. I don't really have anything to say about this flag, I mean, it just looks more like a kid's geometry homework than something that should represent an entire country. And to be honest, I can't be asked anymore, like, I'm so pissed, I've seen so much things, I'm literally gonna get eye cancer the day I wake up tomorrow. And next up we have the flag of Burundi. Next we look at Burundi, the country known for, well, it's kind of not really known for anything. I mean, they have some lakes which are known to occasionally explode and kill everyone around it, but to be honest, that seems kind of boring. Let's just talk about their stupid ass flag. Oh my god, what is this shit? Now, if you don't know me personally, let me tell you something. Green and white look shit together, and especially with red. I know, right? I must hate Christmas. Also, this flag looks like it's upside down. Like, obey the laws of gravity. And also, tell me, no seriously, I want some Burundian to go to the f***ing comment section and tell me whose idea it was to put the green around the stars of the flag. They just make it look hideous. And you know what the stars represent? They represent many things, one of which are the ethnic groups in the country. Which to be honest, I don't mind, I like how it resembles who made the country what it is today. But what it annoys me is that one of these stars represent 1% of the population. Why isn't it just two stars? No, seriously, Burundi, why did you just have to add a star to appease 1% of the f population? You just made your star, your flag, look like absolute garbage. At numero dos, we have the flag of the Maldives. No, 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 no. Why am I even doing this video at this point? You have got to be serious. That's your flag. Someone decided, you know what? This is a good flag to represent my country. What the actual fuck? I have so many questions. First of all, that crescent looks like it was drawn by a kindergartner who has never seen a f crescent moon. No, 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 no. Actually, it looks like if a kin kindergartner was told to draw a crescent, but instead drew a croissant. Don't get me wrong, I like crescents on flags, they have a lot of history and, and religious symbolism, but if you're going to draw a crescent, draw a crescent that looks good. And don't even get me started on the background, it just looks hideous. It looks like if someone found an actual semi-decent flag and decided to stick it onto a paper, drenched drenched in his own blood. 
you know what? Let's just continue. I want to finish this video. I want to just go home already. I don't care anymore. Now, before I go and say the worst flag that was ever created in the history of mankind, I'm going to list some flags that I think are also horrible. So here we have the flag of Zimbabwe. Tell me, what is this? W one, two, three... I'm, I'm not even going to count the amount of stripes on this flag. Um, the flag of Tuvalu. Okay, okay. Just, just why? What, what is this? Are, are you trying to paint the night sky on the flag? And also, if you're trying to paint the, the night sky on your flag, why isn't the background black? Why are the stars yellow? Just tell me why, tell me why. Okay, the flag of the Solomon Islands, okay? It's, it's a good flag. It's like, uh, not really good. It's a decent flag. Only... If you just didn't copy the United States, um, the United uh, the United States stars equals flag design, and also if you actually did it right, like come on, Solomon Islands, you have six states but five flags. What are you doing? And lastly, I was considering putting the Vatican on this list, but also I go to a Catholic school, and I do not want to get crusaded when I go back to school. And l let's just leave it at that. And the title of the worst flag in the world goes to the flag of Pakistan. And at this point, I don't care anymore. People have already left the video, people have already been offended by this video, and people are already going to go down to the comment section and tell me how wrong I am. So you know what? I don't care. I'm not going to waste my time describing how much I hate this flag, and you guys can just enjoy your lives and live in peace. Now, if you actually like this video and are somehow still watching it, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video to show your continuous support to me. Now, without further ado, bye.